Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This particular one is an HP 15 BS 011 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the mechanical drive or replace your mechanical drive, drive with an SSD drive. Or in, even if you want you can replace mechanical drive with an, another mechanical drive. So Pretty much we have the mechanical drives and we have SSD drives. SSD drives are much, much faster than mechanical drives. But the thing I would recommend you guys always to put a good brand SSD. Do not go with a Kingston or a data brand. These are really low grade SSDs. Go with a Samsung brand. But some of my clients, they always bring their own SSD drives like this one here. So I won't recommend you these ones. I recommend they're cheap, but they won't last longer. Three of the in the durability of these ones are not as much as, as better as Samsung brands. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your hard drive. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop and you want to flip it upside down. And down here, you want to remove the battery first by pulling this lock, this one on this side to the unlock position. So you see this logo, it says unlock and then push and hold down this other clip all the way and it's gonna slide the battery out or you can just help it out by sliding it back. So once you remove the battery, the tool that you're gonna be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set and from here we're gonna be using a bit number one. It's Phillips number one. I like this tool set because the bits are made out of S2 class steel. That means they're really toughened steel. They will last you a much longer period of the time. Also, you need an a opening tool. For the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. It's really suitable to opening covers and uh, components. All right, first thing first, down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screw. They screw in the middle in front, one on each side, and two under the battery. And one hitting right in here, camouflaged right between these holes right here. But there are four hidden screws on this cover, on this rubber cover, and on the rubber covers at the back. To get to this one, just grab the guitar pick, stick it right in the front. You don't need to remove the whole thing, just the tip, and you want to see the screw right there. So you want to start removing the screw on each one of these ones. So do the same thing for the other corner in front side. They have a little adhesive to it, so you just have to lift it up. And remove the screws. Do the same thing on the back corners. Remember that has just the back corners on the edges. You don't need to remove the whole thing. All right. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching these ones. All right. Once you remove the screws right there, now we're gonna start removing two screws under the battery first. Again, these two screws are the same as the rest. And next is go ahead and remove all those four screws that are exposed on the cover. Again, I hope you guys like all my videos and helping you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you can do it just by subscribing to the channel and clicking that like button if you find my videos useful. I really appreciate it. All right, we removed all the screws. So all the screws on the bottom cover, under the battery, under the rubber legs, they're all the same size and height. So you don't have to worry about mismatching them. So keep that in mind. Next step is to open up the laptop a little bit. Or open it up completely if you wish. Then you want to grab the guitar pick and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right away there. And all you need to do is twist it towards the outside and you want to hear those clicks. You're not breaking, you're just loosening it up. So do that, the whole side in the front. Go every two, three centimeters and just do a twisting towards the outside. Do left and the right side. All right. Once we did all this, then you wanna just grab the cover gently. Make sure that it's opened up. You see this opening right there? Now you want to close up the laptop completely. 
put it upside down and grab it. Usually grab it from where you have the single USB port and the SD card reader from here. Grab it from this side, put your finger thumb on the hinge and then lift it up. Okay, now that it's loosened up in the front, at the back here, you can just stick the guitar pick right there and help it out a little bit to loosen up those clips right down there. Okay, and these two, be careful, you can break them, but nothing's gonna happen, don't worry about it. So grab it from the front end corner, bring it up, loosen them up, and push it towards the back, towards the battery a little bit, so you can release these two clips down here. So when you bring it a little bit, slightly like one millimeter, it will release those, and lift it up, wiggle it around, and you should be able to remove the cover. Once the cover is removed, you're gonna see the whole thing underneath, and the hard drive is right in front of you, it's being held down by one single screw right over here. So all you need to do, remove this tiny screw, and don't lift it up a lot, just lift it up a little bit, about 45 degrees, just like that, and then slide it back, because you don't wanna snap the contact. So you wanna lift it up a little bit, and then slide it backward. There's your one terabyte Seagate hard drive. The hard drive is being held down by this caddy, it's like a half caddy, so you have to remove these two screws to remove this plate and place it right on the new drive. Make sure the orientation of the pins are in the same position. So remove the two screws from here. Put that one to a side, bring it over here. The SSDs are a little bit low profile, so don't worry, it's still gonna fit. You have a little bit more room to play around in there. So put the screws right on top. Now again, you wanna bring it down in 45 degrees, just like that on the tip, and then slide it all the way in, and push it towards the motherboard. With this one, you have a little more room underneath. So you have your little hidden stash right there. Put the screw to hold the caddy in place. Again, for this one you can't add a DVD drive. You could technically, because the contact for the DVD drive is in here, you need the DVD uh, adapter from SATA, micro SATA to um, this contact. And then if you put a DVD drive in there, you have to start cutting up all these plastic fillings and even make a cut right on the here. It's like a big hassle, so. Let's just say that you can't put a, you know, what's called, a DVD drive. Also, you can keep your mechanical drive in here, and you can go ahead and add an M.2 SSD drive right here. There's an M.2 SSD available right in here. It's not an NVMe port, but it is a SATA port. So you can grab the M.2 drive in here and bring it, and stick it right in there, and bring it down, and put that single tiny screw right at the back and you will have your M.2 drive right there. I'll leave the link in the description for a screwdriver screws for this one and some compatible M.2s for here. All right, once you have those installed, all you need to do, grab the cover, put the side where the heatsink is, all the HDMI port, make sure it goes right underneath, you snap it in, push it down, once you got that side in, bring it, put the battery side down, and then release, and then squeeze every part. If you have any opening, you see this opening right there? You just wanna pinch them together. You wanna hear those big loud clicks. And the last thing would be to just putting down the screws at the bottom cover. Also remember, now that we replaced the hard drive, you will not have any operating system inside the new drive. So you have to create your, your own Windows 10 or Windows 7 USB boot drive and then stick it in there and boot it up from there. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave the link in the video description and I made another video how to install them on HP laptop and the proper way of installing Windows 10. So you don't have all those um, bloat words as in Candy Crush, McAfee antivirus, so you can prevent them from installing on your Windows 10 after finishing 
the whole process. So follow those two links. All the HP laptops, they have the same way of booting to the USB drive. So right now I'm going to show you guys quickly how to boot it up to the USB drive before putting up the rest of the screw to keep this video short. So I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to last pretend that I have my Windows 10 USB and boot drive in here. So we're going to plug this one in. I don't know if I have battery or no. So all you need to do is to power on and keep tapping escape. Yeah, there's a battery, so keep tapping escape. And then you're going to see a menu appearing on the top. It's going to say F1 for system info, F2 for system diagnostic, F9 for boot device option. So you're going to tap F9. And then from this menu, you want to choose your USB hard drive. So click on the USB drive and then it's going to start booting up from the USB and it will take you to the Windows 10 installation process. And it is really simple and easy to do. Follow the videos in my video description and you have your Windows 10 installed within 10 to 15 minutes tops. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own yeah, upgrade and if you did please click that like button and think about subscribing to support the channel if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video